Chan and today I am back with another unboxing. It has been a while. I wanted to tell you guys about this app I've been trying out. This is in no way sponsored. I just wanted to tell you guys about it just in case you wanted to check it out for yourself. If you guys are like me and you like playing UFO catchers, there's an app that you can download on your phone or your tablet or you can even use it in your browser and it's called Toriba and you are actually controlling a UFO catcher also known as a crane game in Japan and whatever prizes you win they will ship to you for free every seven days which is great so I've won a lot of prizes here actually there's two boxes you'll see and I am so excited to get diving into this because I've been waiting weeks for these to come and they're finally here so with that said let's get started we are gonna start with this smaller box and just in case you wanted to see how I won these prizes, it doesn't show the whole process. It just shows the winning grab or push or whatever. I have uploaded the two Tori Ba wins videos already to my channel. So if you want to see how these prizes were won, go check that out. So let's get into opening this. Let's see what's in the box. Ooh, and it got super bright outside all of a sudden. How awesome was that? Ah. Throw this on the ground. Um, first, so I'm gonna set this over the side here. Um, which one do I want to open first? Oh, there, there's a really small one, so I'm gonna open this first. Ooh, and it's really squishy. Um, I know they said it was squishy food, but I didn't think it would be this squishy. So I actually won this in one go off of a free play ticket. Um, so that's awesome. And what it is is a spring roll. I don't know if you guys are familiar with spring rolls, but they're, I love this type of food. And it is so, like, it's kind of realistic. It's really rubbery feeling. Oh, it smells like, it smells like spray paint. That's not good, but here we go. It's like a, it's got like shrimp on the one side and it's in a rice wrap. And yeah, it's like super, super squishy and you can stretch it too. Oh, that's super cool. I love it. <laughs> Gross. Ooh, look at this guy. Oh my God, he's way bigger than I thought he would be. Oh my goodness, look how big he is! Oh, I've actually seen this guy at conventions that I've went to, and I've always wanted him, but I always thought that they asked for way too much, so uh, I actually won him for a pretty good price. Um, I think this is the one where somebody had given up and it was right at the edge and it only took like one or two tries to win it, so I only ended up spending like $4 to win this guy. And the last thing in this box, there's another Shiba Inu. Oh my god, he's actually, again, a lot bigger than I thought he would be. Oh my goodness. He's a big round ball. I actually want a smaller version of this guy, but it's a black and tan. It's right behind me. Um, this is like one of the first prizes I won off of Tori Bot, and look how much bigger this guy is. Oh my god, he's so cute and fluffy looks kind of angry and he's got like a little curly tail on this side and this are his little paws see his little paw pads oh my goodness he's the cutest oh. actually won this guy out of a ping pong dropper which is super difficult to win it's like not even skill based it's like pure luck and I won him rather quickly I think it only took three tries. Yeah, the whole like ping pong thing wasn't even full of ping pong balls, so I was really excited to get him because usually when I see those things, it's like tons and tons of people have tried to wear the dish that the ping pong balls are in is almost empty and still people aren't winning it. So I got super lucky and he's adorable and I love him. <laughs> We're gonna open this big box and this has like nine prizes in it. So this is gonna be real fun. What is in this box? Ah. I'll open the small one first. This is, I think it's called like ugly yet cute uh, cats. 
And they're based off of like real cats, I guess, on the internet. I, they had a picture of like this guy, like a real life picture of this guy, like on the display, but I don't know. But he's cute. He's got like really odd markings. So it looks like he's got like hair. He's got a little bell. I think that's my favorite part is that he has a bell. He's got a little spot on his back. He's adorable. I won like a whole set of uh, these working Shiba Inus, like Mame Shiba Brothers. And right now we're gonna open up the chef one. Oh my goodness, his little hat. He's so cute. There he is, he's got his little chef's hat there and his little cute uh, tie or ascot or whatever you wanna call that. I guess scarf, scarf is the right word. And he's got his little cute curly tail and his brown paws. Next up, we're gonna open the mailman one. He kind of looks like a pug, but like he's supposed to be in a series called like Mame Shiba Brothers, so I guess he's supposed to be a Shiba, but he totally looks like a pug. Look at him! He's got his little mail bag and his little mailman's hat. His little tongue sticking out. White belly, white paws, and a little brown curly tail. Again, I'm pretty sure he he looks like a pug, doesn't he? He looks more like a pug. I'm not hating. I love him. Next, we're gonna open the policeman Shiba in that series. There he is. Look how cute he is. Tying his little policeman hat. He's got a white belly and a cute little curly tail. Now, these were kind of difficult to win because sometimes the tail would get caught on the bar, and then people could, like couldn't get it off the bar. It would be just stuck there like this. So I got lucky and didn't get any of them stuck. Last but not least, in that series of smaller Shiba plushies, um, I have the nurse. And this one is like, I think my favorite besides the cop, Doggy. See, her nurse hat is all messed up. Let's fix that up too. Oh my God. There we go. How can you not love this cute little baby? Ooh. And I thought at first that like I said before with the other one, her tail had looked like it got stuck on the bar. And I was like, great, this is gonna, you know, cost me a lot of money to try to win. But luckily she fell off. And that's in my wins video, if you wanna go and check that one out. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the video, um, you can see how I won these guys. She's got like blush on her cheeks, cute little nurse hat, little collar. This one doesn't wanna stay down. There you go. And there's her curly little tail and her white belly. Now this is actually a double. I have actually won another one before earlier, but she's so easy to win and somebody left her in a winnable position that I could win her in one try, so I did it. And I'm actually gonna give her away to a friend. Oh wait, let's see, there's her other eye. And her little dress. And the back. She's so cute and big. I love the big plushies. The, the big plushies are like the most fun to win, but they are sometimes the most difficult to win. We got another double because this was the first one I won. The other one I won was the second one. The first one I opened was the second one I won. Somebody had left it in a super easy winnable position. This one took me several tries to win, so maybe I might sell the other one or do a giveaway or something. I don't know. Onto the bigger Shiba, another Shiba, another Shiba. So many Shibas. I love the Sheebs. So I actually have won two other versions of this guy, but this guy is the giant one. Look at how big this one is. Okay, so the original one I won, I won this one a long time ago. So now I have the extra large, the medium, and whoop, let me grab it, the small. I have the whole set that they had on Tori Pup because I love Shiba Inus. Look at that face. It's kind of, it's got like a little crooked smile, which I like. I think the name for this guy was Sluggy Mofu Friends. Um, sometimes their translation on Tori Bot isn't the greatest, so I don't exactly know what the correct English translation is for this guy. He's so cute. I love the paws. Yes, the paws are the best. And he's so cuddly and soft. Last but not least. And they had to vacuum seal this one. He's flat as a pancake. And this was a, another super lucky win. I won this in one go off of a free play ticket. 
it was one of those fishing type style UFO catcher games where they have like a chain and like an S hook and you have to hook the hook onto the grid and lift the grid up and then you'll win the prize which is like I don't know I mean it does take skill but I really think it's more luck based kind of like the ping pong dropper so let's open this guy up let's free him from this vacuum sealed package wait wait this is gonna be fun let's see Ooh, ooh, is it gonna is it gonna pop up oh there it goes oh, he's still kind of flat as a pancake <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Let's puff him up a bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. There he is! Oh my god, he is so soft. Look at those tiny little ears. Oh, he is like... I don't know how to explain it. He is so, so soft, especially the belly. The belly's like the softest part of him. And he's got the tiniest little curly tail. And there's his butt. Here are all the prizes we unboxed today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs>